Hey everyone, it's Anton from Pocket Now, and it's the last product we're looking at tonight. It's the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. It's like in the car business we're in 2013, but we're looking at the 2014 model. Let's see what it brings to the table. The first and most important thing Samsung emphasized was the screen. We have obviously a 10.1 inch screen, but the resolution is the same as on the Nexus 10. We got a 2560 by 1600 resolution, and believe me, the screen is good. Now, I cannot compare it with the Nexus 10. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me, but uh, we'll have more coverage on this when we get review units and we'll have a comparison. Now, in terms of internal specifications, it's pretty much safe to say that the Note 10.1 2014 edition has about the same specs as the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 also announced today, which means the same Exynos 5 Octa processor. It's got the same three gigabytes of RAM, which is a first for a tablet on the market. And also, since we're at the back, we're looking at the same finishing touch, and I should probably rotate it the normal way. It's the same leather with the same stitching and the, the same good feel in the hand. Now, since we're opt up here, we have an aero blaster right there, plus a volume rocker for volume up, volume down, your normal power on slash sleep button. On the left, we have a speaker, as well as on the right, on the opposite side. Right there is where your S Pen will lay, but we'll get back to the S Pen just in a bit. We have a micro SD expansion slot, we have a micro SIM card slot, and on the bottom, we have the micro USB syncing and charging slot. Of course, on the front, we have the regular, by now, compulsory Samsung home button, flanked by the menu, and the back button, which are capacitive Samsung branding action going on at the top, webcam and some sensors. And since we mentioned the S Pen, the functionality is the same like the one on the Note 3. For a detailed look, we encourage you to see the Note 3 video, but just as a glance, the dot, the circle and the box are also present here and uh, we'll try to see if we can capture the dot is right there. And when you see the dot, you press the button, you touch the screen and there you go. You can select your action, and in this case, we're selecting the action memo. So Samsung Knox is a first on a tablet. It was launched with the Samsung Galaxy S4, and it will be included out of the box with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014, a tongue twister, which is basically a sandbox, a place where you do stuff on your tablet, which remains within that space, and it does not affect your other part, the public part, or the part which could be accessed. Exiting Knox is one tap away, and you are now hackable. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a long day, and we have plenty more to come, and it's hot in here. I've been Anton from Pocket Now, Michael Fisher behind the camera. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned to much, much, much more IFA videos from us. Thank you.